Hello and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Subnautica Below Zero, the Arctic under the sea survival game. We're going to talk about finding a great set piece, Research Outpost Omega. Now, for those of you who've been following my videos on YouTube, you all know there's plenty of things to go and find and do in Subnautica Below Zero. It's a great storyline and it's also um, a very apt single player mode where you can go off and just play in a sandbox, build nice bases, drive around, go zooming around here, go zooming around there. Anyway, Outpost Omega. Where is it? Well, we're going to start off from a default starting position of the jetty on Rocket Island. We're going to head southeast. Now, there's an outcrop of the island there. I get it. So we're going to move our little sea truck just off to the left a bit line ourselves up and we're off. Now for those of you who've also been watching you'll notice that it's not too far away from parts of the crashed ship which are really good to do some exploring as well. There's some great blueprints in there you're going to find and check out my video on my channel about that. So off we go. It's not too far away but it is quite tricky to find. I found it, I have to admit, just by chance the first time. The second time couldn't find it again for the life of me. So here we are coming up on the rear of the crashed ship that's been consumed by the sea. We've got all these lovely jellyfish sort of affairs floating around. Always worthwhile taking a few screenshots as well because Subnautica Below Zero, just like its predecessor Subnautica, is a really pretty game uh, and you know you, you, it's, it's really it's a nice coloured palette you know it does make you feel like you're somewhere else and it's very absorbing so we're going to start heading down I always use that plant there right in front of us as a sort of marker that we're going the right way you've got these great dish like coral structures there as well now they call this I believe lily pads anyway there you go. We're looking for the coordinates minus 532, minus 80, minus 89. Now, it has gone a bit dark, but we've got our lights on. There's glow whales wafting around the area. But also some very vicious sharks as well. Here they are. They're going to come and attack. Oh, they haven't attacked me. I thought they were going to then. So steer clear of those. Will make give your sea truck a bit of damage. And if you're caught in their in their jaws as well, then you're gonna get a little bit of damage. So here we go. We're gonna avoid those sharks. We're carrying on going. We've now still heading southeast. And there's some subterranean caves. Down here you're going to find an awful lot of sea monkeys as well. Now we all know what sea monkeys are like. They can be a right pain in the posterior. Alright, so be careful if you are outside your sea truck. Be very careful because they will take your items off you. And you'll see a little cave at the coordinates that I gave you. And that is Omega Outpost. And it's 546-189 1065. Have a good look around outside. You can see through the windows. There's great stuff loading there. We're going to go and take a look inside and we're going to explore this outpost as well and see what things we can scan and what things we can pick up. So we're going to park the old sea truck nicely on that foundational pad just so we know where it is. There's the hatch. And let's get into that research outpost Omega. Now, I'm going to leave a boy there. Just so I can come back. Always worthwhile. Just marking out some of the set pieces in Subnautica Below Zero. You don't never know if some additional parts are going to unlock or become more relevant as the story progresses, especially as the game is in beta or alpha. And we are in. Straight ahead, we got a bulkhead. 
we've got a scannable vending machine, a Subnautica below zero vending machine. Can't scan those pots, unfortunately. We've got a coffee vending machine as well, and with all the snacks and chips in it. So you can now have coffee in your base. You can now have a vending machine with all the snacks in your base. There's also a bin down to the left of it as well. So still, you can't get those, those pods. There's a small marble melon. Now you'll remember those from the original Subnautica. That's food. But um, I kind of want to put that in a pot. And so far, I haven't got one. Having a look around, there's some papers there, but they're just a set piece. Nothing that you can pick up. A picture frame, good for scanning that. Of course, you can upload your pictures that you've been taking with your PDA by on the PC, pressing F11. And you can upload those as wall art as well when you get back to your base. And that's it in this side of the, of the habitat. Let's get back out. There's a box there, or a bench. You can scan that. All window dressing, really. Doesn't serve much of a purpose. But you know, hey, it'll look good on our base. And there's a jukebox disc. So I'll have some of that. Can't scan it, but it's worthwhile picking it up. Additional music. You can't get the cup. Having a good look round. There's the bed, windows. Nothing else in this side. Moving straight to the lab area. Now we've got a few things we can get here. Now, Chinese potatoes. Yep, yeah, great. You can eat those if you're caught short. But again, you can't scan that pot. So you can't grow any more of them just yet. Can't scan those either. Used to be able to in the other game. We've got a water filtration machine, everybody. Yes, the hunt for water in Subnautica Below Zero is now over because the water filtration machine can now be scanned. Install it in your base, give it some power, and it will generate big filtered waters that will give you approximately 70 units of water. And it will give you two of those every so often. And you've got the blueprint for the control room. Great. Now you can't scan any of that because I tried. So, so far, research post Omega is turning out to be pretty cool. Now you can scan the ceiling as well. So you get a multi-purpose room glass roof. So that's great. Took me a few attempts to scan this. Don't know where, where I was standing or, or what it was. Some sort of um, issue with the game. But I persevered, finally got there. Of course, I could have gone outside and scanned it. But hey, scan it from the inside. Nothing left in here to scan. And of course, that filtration machine isn't powered up. So it's not going to produce any water. But it will do when you install one in your base. Okay. Nothing left in here. Now it's time to get through the bulkhead door. Now, the bulkhead door here needs a code to get in. And you can scan the bulkhead and install these things in your base. Now, the code that you want is 1679. That's 1679. Okay? Put in the wrong code, not going to let you in. Put the right code in. 1679 will get you into this part of Omega Base in Subnautica Below Zero. So, there you go. Now, if you're looking for that, you can find the PDA on a pedestal. Of course, it would help if I could type. Right, that unlocks the door. Open it. And you get a little bit of set piece. But there, right there, now that is a nuclear reactor. And it's scannable. And of course you've got another watermelon on the table as well. Um, the only thing you can really scan, however, is the nuclear reactor. So... And of course you've got the Outpost Omega Research as well. Now that triggers a bit of in-game set piece. Checking in. I'm at Outpost Omega, rooting through their research. They haven't stopped complaining since the evac. 
I bet. They always thought they were one step away from first contact. Can you upload the documents he found? Hold on. This data would allow an intelligent human to extrapolate my presence in your cerebral cortex. Now we've got Alan, Sir, the AI that's inside your head, trouble with this influencing you. It might be the case. We've got the nuclear reactor blueprint. Roger. Nothing else to get in, in here, unfortunately. Um, I had a good look around, couldn't find anything else. But so far, so good. That's not so bad. So this is resort, uh, Research Post Omega uh, in Subnautica Below Zero. Also, where its position is, it's, hey, it is quite tricky to get to. So check out the, the coordinates and persevere, like I said. Get that nuclear waste disposal as well. Always very handy. Another blueprint you can add to your base. Things to watch out for. Sea monkeys. Those sharks, they're terrible. Um, hitting into the walls, they're also very terrible. Other things to look out for as well. Get down into the trench scan the sea monkey nests you're going to find ultra high capacity oxygen tank you're going to find propulsion cannon you're going to find sea truck afterburner fragments and the like make sure you get out there make sure you get scanning but keep an eye okay keep a good eye on your depth gauge keep a good eye as well on your oxygen and make sure those cheeky sea monkeys don't go pinching any of your equipment I've been Ricardo. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching this video on Subnautica Below Zero. This is Research Post Omega. You get the nuclear reactor, marble melons, jukebox disc, uh, the control room blueprint. You can scan snack machines, those tasty snacks, and you can scan coffee and some bins and benches and whatnot. Check it out. It is quite tricky to find, like I said. But I think it's well worth it. One of the great set pieces in the game. See you soon. Swim safe. And catch you next time on the next video.